You are listening to the New Music Alliance Radio Hour. This is Mistress Miriam, and I'm here with Ace Helter and with Mark Sherry. Uh, and you just heard I Need to Be in Love by The Carpenters, um, Unashamed Love by Ten Shekel Shirt. And we started with Prince of Darkness by the Indigo Girls. Uh, when you just look at the titles, uh, you've got two songs about love and one about the Prince of Darkness. <laughs> and I meant it to be that way. It's a good vibe. You know that. <laughs> uh, anyway, the Indigo, Indigo Girls. <laughs> Indigo Obviously Girls. Obviously killer. Obviously killer. Um, this music is, I mean, music that I listened to in the 90s, People have been, you know, they're just so popular to this day. Uh, they sell out at, at the Academy oh, yeah. immediately. From New, from New Haven, Connecticut, one, one of them is from, right? Yeah, right. Emily, Emily is from um, yeah. New Haven, Connecticut. Yes, we're in the New Haven block, everybody. Uh, and I think they met in Georgia, uh, I think at Emory University. But I just love this track. I love the guitars. I love how it, you know, crescendos into this, you know, bigger sound and it just and feels is, so good to me. And this is the expanded version of it. It's a little different than the, uh, the standard uh, version that we're usually used to hearing. Yeah, it's a little like bit it. longer, but I think that works in yeah. its advantage. It's yeah. nice for me as somebody who's listened to this song a thousand times to have something kind of fresh about yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, good choice. I, well, thank you very, very much. Um, and, you know, let's talk about um, Unashamed Love by Ten Shekel Shirt, who are a Christian. Say that 10 times. <laughs> ten Shekel Shirt. Ten... Okay, that's okay. going to take the whole radio show. Um, the... <laughs> of course, you know that the shekel is a monetary you know, coin. Yes. Uh, and and they, they are a Christian band from New Haven and I, I love their sound uh, and I, I'm very interested in, in Christian music in general and religious music but what's interesting about this song is that that it's about love if you didn't know that it was love of God it's just it's a song about love and I love their sound too so very very much full yeah. you know, kind of you know a little bit you know, indigo girl, girls sound. Yeah, that was a beautiful okay. song. It is. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I'd like to mention too that um, one of the members of the band uh, left the band briefly to uh, put together this charity, Love One or Six, uh, which helps to combat child slavery and exploitation. Oh, that's uh, great. That's good it too. is great. Something I feel strongly about. Yeah. And something else that many people feel strongly about in many different ways, the Carpenters. Uh, had to end with the Carpenters. They are, were born in New Haven. Uh, and of course, mm -hmm. everybody knows the Carpenters. This, uh, this particular song was written by uh, Richard Carpenter with Albert Hammond, who's amazing, mm -hmm. um, and John Bettis. So, it's it's a great track. Once again, I love how it comes into this, you know, soft sound and then, you know, crescendos up. Yeah, it's it's very slick. It's a very slick track. Very it's, appropriate for the time. Yeah, it's definitely, a, you know, an iconic Carpenters type song for sure. Very iconic. Her voice, too, as once again, I always say this as a singer. Oh, of course. Is, is she this kind of voice? in some ways doesn't exist nowadays you can put her in front of a microphone and you know that voice comes out you don't have to do anything to it to make it sound like that um, there's so much engineering now with voices not that every singer is like that but she just has this beautiful beautiful sound i wish i could sound like her but we're all our own person. <laughs> who doesn't really do you want to sound like her I wouldn't complain. <laughs> she sounds marvelous. Marvelous. <laughs> marvelous. We love her. Uh, well, thank so you all so much for visiting with us today at the New Music Alliance Radio Hour. We hope you enjoyed some great original music from Western New England artists. I'm Ace Housesword, joined this week by Mark Sherry and Mistress Miriam. Thank you both so much. 
Yeah. Thank you. This is fun. The New Music Alliance Radio Hour is brought to you by the New Music Alliance, which is a 501c3 nonprofit whose mission is to assist and advance the careers of talented, creative local musicians who write original music and to promote the extended Western New England area as a destination for original music writing, production, and performances. If you like what we're doing here on the show, tell your friends about it and like the New Music Alliance on Facebook. Have you heard some great original music from a local artist from Western Massachusetts, Central Connecticut, or Southern Vermont and would like to hear it played on the show? Or are you a local Western New England musician who'd like to have your original music considered to be on our show? If yes, send your recommendations with links if possible to newmusicalliance at gmail.com. We'll do our best to get as many as we can on the air. Join us next week with our DJ crew of Mark Sherry, David Sokol, and Mark Ramon for some more great tunes from excited local artists. Do we have any local shows we want to mention this week? I, I would love to mention uh, that uh, on, on Tuesday uh, was uh, Trans Performance, uh, which right. is a local it show happens every year. Um, Northampton Arts Council raises money for to, to bringing the arts into the Northampton public schools because it couldn't be performed live at the Pine Theater where it's always performed. The show did a pre-tape, um, my band, the Mistress Miriam Show, we were Madonna. They're a fantastic <laughs> band. Uh, so each band, each band performs the music of a classic, really, you know, uh, well-known band, right? Well-known band uh, within a theme. So this year's theme is Live Aid. So mm. everyone is doing a, um, a, an artist from Live Aid and you transform and you can still watch it if you want. It's on Facebook Live. If you go to the Facebook Trans Performance um, page, it's Trans Performance 30 Live Aid. You can have a link to it there. And what I'd really like to say uh, is because there are no ticket sales this year, please, 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 if you can, donate some money. There's a link on the Facebook page uh, to do so you need funds to bring the arts into schools. And I think we all know how important that is. Yeah. And just remember to stay safe, wear your masks, socially distance if you can, and spread only the love. And as we always say at the end of every show, until next week, keep on rocking. Let's have Charles Galip take us out today with African Eyes. <laughs>